how to legally camp at Walmart. We're here in the Walmart parking lot. No better place to talk about how to do this legally. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me here today. We're talking about camping at Walmart legally. Now, I know some people don't even like to use the word camp in Walmart in one sentence because they think it's called overnight parking rather than camping. Well, call it whatever you want to. Overnight parking just takes a lot longer to say. I call it camping because I'm parking for the night, I'm getting in my bed and I'm sleeping. And to me, that's at least the most minimal version of setting up camp. So how can we do this legally? Let's get into it. First and foremost is to know which Walmarts allow overnight camping. Now, there is no place you can go online where it's black and white updated all the time to let you know if a Walmart allows it or not. There are some great places to start. I like the Allstays app. It has a lot of good information. Um, also, RV Parky app has a lot of good information about whether or not a Walmart allows camping. Or even more so, it lets people leave reviews and tell about their experience, whether they were allowed to camp there or not. So the first step is really knowing if it's allowed or not. RV Parky and Allstays are my favorite go-tos, but you can dive deeper online to free campsites. There are also a Walmart, there's also a Walmart specific site. The thing is you wanna to go to the site that's the most trafficked and has the most reviews. That way you can get the most up-to-date understanding of if a Walmart allows free overnight parking. Now, the best way to find out if a Walmart allows legal camping or overnight parking is calling them up and asking the manager. This poses a few challenges though. First, you're bugging a manager who has an actual job to do and you just wanna know if you can spend the night. That could be cumbersome and annoying to the manager trying to operate a facility. But the other problem is that uh, whether you want to just trust the reviews and ask for forgiveness or if you want to ask up front whether you can or can't. I tend to go in the lane of doing a lot of research online and having my fallback be ask for forgiveness if it's not allowed. But if you want to bug the Walmart manager and give them a call, that's what a lot of people do and that's what a lot of people feel is the right thing to do. Ask someone who has worked in a service-based industry before that has a lot of customer interaction, I know getting a call about something like that would get on my last nerve. So I like to look for signs and do a lot of research online to find out if it's allowed in the first place. By the way, if you like free camping like we do, especially off-grid and not in a Walmart parking lot, make sure you download our 21 best free campsites in America. It has all of our favorite campsites to stay at. You can print it up, bring it on your travels, frame it, gift it to a friend, whatever you want. You can get it in the comment section, description, free to download, give it a look, and uh, hey, enjoy free camping off grid. And once you find out if people have had success camping overnight at a Walmart, then you're gonna wanna follow a certain safety procedures and just good practices. The first is park close to a light pole. Often those have security cameras mounted on them, but they're definitely gonna have good visibility, so you're not gonna be out in the dark corner of the parking lot. You still wanna be tucked outside of the main parking area, so down one side or towards the back of a row. But if you can park closer to a light pole, that'll give you better security. Park out of the way, obviously this is a given you know you don't want to be parking right in the center of the parking lot we tend to park on the very outside so we are have closer access to grass for walking our dog to letting him letting her use a bathroom and the most important thing of why even if it is allowed at one wa some walmarts that you still have to abide by is don't set up camp don't put excessive amounts of slides out where they're getting in the way don't put your grill outside. By all means, don't sit outside. Don't store things outside. Basically be as discreet as possible because this way you're not gonna bring attention to yourself and the police won't come knocking on your, on your door asking you to move. That is like a rule number one of parking at any Walmart once you get the green light. Now remember, this is really just a video about how to find Walmarts legally. This isn't about to go over, over all the etiquette rules of Walmart. We have videos about that. We have blog articles about that. This is just how we do it legally. Let me know how you stay at Walmart legally. Shout out in the comment section below. Don't forget to download the map of the free campsites, 21 best in America. 
in the description or comment section, free to download. Thanks so much for watching this video. See you next time, later on.